Welcome to the Scottish SPCA's National Wildlife Rescue Centre by Fishcross in Clackmannanshire. Rescuing wildlife is a huge part of what we do. The centre is really a wildlife hospital. It's where we care for garden birds, seal pups, red squirrels, otters and many other wild animals like swans, ducklings, fox cubs and badgers until they are fit and healthy enough to be released back into the wild where they belong. The centre, which replaced our wildlife rescue centre at Middlebank in Fife, opened in April 2012. Middlebank had done as much as it could. In this centre we've designed it based on roughly a capacity of somewhere like 5,000. And with our modern facilities we can do the best that we possibly can to help as many wildlife casualties as is possible. As the centre's a hospital, visitors aren't allowed, so the animals aren't disturbed while they recover. So we're taking a look behind the scenes. So when casualties come in, they first go into the examination room. If necessary, we've got an operating room with x-ray facilities, so we can give them a good check over in there. This is the bird section. So there's nothing but birds comes into here. We've got holding rooms for oil birds. It's the largest centre in Scotland that can clean oil birds and the only one that can deal with large numbers like a thousand at any one time. We're the only national charity in Scotland which rescues birds and they're by far the most common admission. In here we, we deal with all the, the casualties and the youngest birds that we're getting in. And the next door is the general ward and then the, the next stage again is the waiting room going out to the Avonies. So it's, everything's really organised, we've got so much more space. Well, these facilities here just illustrate the sort of scale we now operate on. There's 15 aviaries, that means we can keep lots of different types of birds of prey, right the way up to eagles or down to owls, anything like that. The centre can care for the increasing number of seal pups in need of our help. Sick and underweight, little Aries is now in the best possible hands. This now gives us a scope to hold up to 40 seals at any one time, and that's not counting seals we can put out in the pools. And it's on to our dedicated mammal unit, where otter cubs Loch and Fine are recovering after their quite extraordinary tail. One had walked into a restaurant, uh, and the other one had walked into um, uh, a post office, both as like eight to 12 week old youngsters. Neither were related, which was very strange, uh, and they were also only two miles apart. Very unusual to get one orphan otter, let alone two. Because we can put them together, we don't have to handle them much, which means they remain nice and wild. And ultimately, that's what we want. Now, here's a rare sight. Two fox cubs, both tucking into their lunch. And here's wildlife assistant Sheila with another real cutie, Squirrely the Red Squirrel. This little fellow was picked up by a dog near Inverness, having probably fallen from his nest. He'll be with me for about another month. Then you'll go outside into an aviary and then before being released. But up to then we're just really concentrating on his diet. We'll wean him off the milk, get him onto baby rice, then onto chopped nuts and then he'll be fending for himself. And finally, ducklings, ducklings and more ducklings. We couldn't continue our fantastic work without you, our supporters. It's going to enable us now to treat many, many more wildlife casualties, get more back into the wild, alleviate suffering. And that is only because of the generosity of the public. Keep on giving and we'll do more and more.